welcome to another House of Wisdom knife review video where we look at the lightest and best knives from a variety of manufacturers. Sometimes we look at the lightest, sometimes we look at the best. Today we're looking at the best. It's definitely not the lightest. This knife, this chunk of beautiful knife here costs 5.5 uh, .5 ounces in weight. It's the Zero Tolerance 0562 and it is in a Hinder XM18 design style. Zero Tolerance is the high-end brand of Kai USA. The lower-end brand of Kai USA is the Kershaw knives. Several knives have been produced imitating the Hinder XM18, or at least I'll say being inspired by the Hinder XM18. And it's all above ground. They pay copyright uh, to Hinder knives for their distinctiveness. The ZT0562 is the one we'll be looking at today. Today's video is going to cover a lot of territory. I'm going to do a knife review of this knife, the 0562. I'm going to do a review of all of the Hinder style knives that Zero Tolerance produces, well, excuse me, that Kai USA produces, including the Kershaw Cryo. And then I'm going to be comparing this knife, the 0562, to an actual Hinder, which was its uh, inspiration. And then later I'll be giving you recommendations of where I think that you should put your money should you want to purchase a Hinder or a Hinder-like knife. Well, let's get started with the specifications. The blade on this particular knife is three and a half inches. The handle length is 4.8 inches. You can see I've got a little anodization work on the titanium side. And the total knife length is 8.25 inches. The weight of the knife is 5.5 ounces. I have some other knives to compare against the size of the uh, 0562. Here is a Hinder XM18 in the 3 inch size, which as you can tell is quite a bit smaller. Here we have the Insight, which is the Browse, which is a little smaller also. We have the Andre Sanders Contra, which is a little larger of a knife. We have the Benchmade Osborne 940, which is also a little smaller. And lastly, we have the Tashi Barusha Rowdy, which is around the same size. The blade of this particular knife is made of CTS 204P steel. The blade on this model is also made in M390, CPM 20CV, and S35VN. The method of deployment of the knife is an unassisted flipper, and it flips out very nicely. It has a flipper tab that has no jumping and is smooth and very fantastic in its action. The handle on this particular version is made of a carbon fiber with a titanium liner and then titanium on the clip side. They also come in a G10 which is a little less expensive. As of July 2017, the carbon fiber version costs around $240 and the G10 version is a little cheaper at $200. The pivot on the knife runs on KVT bearings which is a departure from its Hinder inspiration, which uses Teflon washers. And as you can tell, the pivot is un undone with uh, Torx bit hardware, both on the clip and the show side. The lock of the knife is a frame lock, and it locks up nicely. As you can see, this one is about 40%, and it centers perfectly, like all the zero tolerance knives. This knife has a lock bar insert and an over travel stop. The over travel stop is the Hinder style over travel stop, which is patented by Hinder knives. The pocket clip on this knife is got good retention and it is a deep carry loop over clip and it adheres at the top of the knife, which gives you the deepest carry possible for a loop over clip. And here is a, a milled out area that you can access the screw if you want to undo the screw. The ergonomics of the knife are just fantastic. It has a place for your forefinger, your third finger, and then your other two. And as you can tell, it is a big knife. I have over half of an inch of handle left whenever I grip this with my tiny paws. The construction of the knife 
is with four standoffs, one, two, three, four, and then the pivot, and it's a flow-through design, so it's easy to clean out. The action of the knife, because of the KVT bearings, is fantastic. It is smooth as can be and returns just with a little bit of shake. It has a tremendous action. The signage on the knife, go ahead and flip it out here, on the show side has the zero tolerance maker mark, and then on the clip side it has a lot of uh, stuff. It has the type of knife, which is the 0562 CF, meaning carbon fiber. Below that it says Hinder Designs. Below that it says Kai USA, and then it has the steel type next to that, CTS 204P, and then it gives the serial number of the knife, which really, in my opinion, isn't necessary. So it has way too much billboarding, as do most of the Kai USA knives. Okay, now I've made a schematic graph for you so that you can understand the Hinder XM18-like knives made by Kai USA. We're going to be looking at the Zero Tolerance 0560, 0561, 0562, 0566, and the Kershaw Cryo. We're going to start with the first two largest knives, the 0560 and 0561. As you can tell, they are very similar. Uh, the ones pictured here, the 0560 has the black handle and the 0561 has the brown handle. They both have three and three quarter inch blades. Their weights are similar, they're just a little bit under six ounces. The price is exactly the same as of July 2017, which is $260. They both have G10 and titanium scales. They both use LMAX steel. They both have KVT bearings for their pivot. And they both have an unassisted flipper deployment. So if you guys can tell any difference that I can, I've never touched either one of these knives. I've just seen pictures of them. Go ahead and let me know in the comments section. But functionally, they look like the same knife. And then we're going to look at the Zero Tolerance 0562, which I have here. This has a quarter inch smaller blade. It has a three and a half inch blade. You lose a half ounce in weight. It's a 5.5 to 5.57 ounce knife and it ranges from 200 to $240. It's made neither G10 titanium or carbon fiber and titanium. The carbon fiber is the one uh, shown here, and it is the more expensive $240. The G10 is the less expensive um, $200 knife. It has a variety of steels it's made in. This particular one is made in the CTS 204P, as I've mentioned, but it's also been made in the M390 and the CPM 20CV, as well as the S35VN steel. It runs just like its brothers on the KVT bearings and is an unassisted flipper. Next we have the Zero Tolerance 0566. It has a three and a quarter inch blade, so it's a quarter inch smaller. It weighs 5.3 to 5.4 ounces, and so you've lost a quarter inch blade, but you didn't lose half an ounce. You only lost 0.1 ounce in weight. And the reason for that is, is that instead of being G10 and titanium, it's made of G10 and steel, which is a heavier metal. The price ranges from $144 to $168, depending on whether it's carbon fiber or G10. And it uses S35 VN steel. It runs on washers and has the safety assist opening mechanism rather than an unassisted flipper like its older brothers. Next, Next comes the Kershaw Cryo. It has a two and three quarter inch blade and it still weighs over four ounces at 4.1 ounces. The reason is it has steel handles both on the show and the clip side. The nice thing is, is that its price falls down to only $35 um, and it also has a blade steel reduction. The other knives had super steels. This has a more modest steel of 8CR 13MOV. And just like the 0566, it has a safety assist and runs on washers. The points that I want to bring to all this data are, first of all, after you get a smaller blade than a 3.5 inch blade, you have a reduction in quality. They use steel handles instead of titanium handles, and they don't quite get the weight reduction. When you went from a three and three quarter inch to a three and a half inch blade, 
you lost half an ounce of weight. And when you went from the 3.5 to 3.25 inch blade, you only lost 0.1 ounces. And that's because they went from titanium to steel. The other thing that happens when you get smaller than a 3.5 inch blade in quality is, is that they add the safety assist with washers instead of the the uh, uh, unassisted flipper, and really a safety assist is a little like kissing your sister. Yes, technically it is a kiss, but it's just not the thrill of the unassisted flipper on bearings, and that thrill knife guys will pay for. The second thing I want to point out from the data is when you go down to the cryo which is two and three quarter inch size blade, you have a tremendous price reduction. You're going from over $150 knives to just a $35 knife. And you also have a reduction in the quality of the blade steel. So if you don't mind a steel handle and a cheap uh, steel, the Cryo is the knife for you if you still want that Hinder XM18 style. Now, I would like to do some comparisons between the Hinder XM18, this is the 3 inch version, and the 3.5 inch blade uh, Zero Tolerance 0562. And we'll take a look at them. We'll consider the pivots first of all. The pivot on the XM18 is made of Teflon washers, and the flipping action is just ah, so so. The pivot, however, on the Zero Tolerance 0562 uses KVT uh, bearings and flips magnificently well and returns just with a little bit of a shake. The pivots are also different. In the XM18, on the show side, you have a flat head screwdriver access pivot, and then on the clip side, you have a spanner bit pivot. On the zero tolerance version, you have Torx bit pivot and a Torx bit pivot, both on the show and the clip side. I have to be honest, I think the hinder pivot looks better, but I have to consider a Torx bit pivot of the zero tolerance to be more function. So what's it up for you? Do you consider form or function more important? I'll let you decide. Let's talk about the clips. They're both spring clips. The XM18 has a embedded spring clip that has the capacity of either being tip up or tip down. With the tip down variety, it has a filler tab, which is a nice little fit and finish complement. Uh, the clip on the Zero Tolerance is a loop over deep carry clip that is in mounted, which gives you the deepest possible carry. So this will disappear in your pants. And some guys like this one where it disappears in your pocket and others like to have a little bit sticking out so that when they get to withdraw it, they can grab that uh, bolt head there, screw head there, and then pull it out. So I personally prefer a deep carry clip. I know some guys that want a little bit of the knife sticking out so that it's easier to retrieve. However, the fit and finish of the filler tab and the option of tip up and tip down, you have to give the clip war at least on its reversibility to the hinder knife. We'll talk about the standoffs now. Both uh, knives have an open construction with pivot and standoffs. The zero tolerance knife has four standoffs and the screws are Torx bits, both on the show side and the clip side. So both of the screws from both sides are screwing into the standoff. The hinder, on the other hand, has Torx bits on the show side and then nicely polished ends on the clip side, which look very finished. In other words, the screw screws into a receptacle here and holds the knife together in that way, so it's a little bit different. I think this looks better. However, this might uh, structurally be more stable with uh, being screwed and secured from both sides. We'll talk about the thumb lugs now, which are a little bit different. First of all, the thumb lugs on the Zero Tolerance 0562, as you can tell, it's really close to the handle scale, so it's hard to get your thumb in there, and it's, it's just a cylinder, so whenever you put your thumb against that edge, it's a little bit sharp, and oh, is it hard to get out. As a matter of fact, I can't get it out. In comparison with the Hinder XM18, it has more distance. I'll get these a little closer so that you can compare them. 
there is more distance between the thumb lug and the handle scale and instead of being squared off at the top, it's conical at the top. So not only is it easier, and the edge is chamfered a little bit on the handle to access your thumb a little better. So not only is it easier to get your thumb in there, you can actually flip it out with the thumb lug on the XM18, where really on the zero tolerance you can't. Advantage XM18 once again. We'll talk about the blade grinds. The blade grind of the zero tolerance model is what you would call a slicer grind. And I have three different examples of grinds with the XM18 here. We have at the top the slicer grind, and then followed by the sponto grind, and then by a tonto grind. Hinder also makes a Warncliffe, a Bowie style blade, a spear point, and a harpoon style blade. So altogether they have seven or eight different types of blades that go with their knife, whereas the zero tolerance is a much more basic type of grind. However, the zero tolerance has many more types of steel that it uses. In this particular version it uses four different types of steel. And we'll talk about the lanyard hole also. As you can see, the XM18 has an oval size lanyard hole, and the 0562 has no lanyard hole. For those of you with a, that like lanyards, uh, advantage XM18 once again. Now we'll talk about the price. The price of the XM18, if you have a 3 inch like this, is $425. And if you have the three and a half inch, the same size as this, it would be $365. The price of the zero tolerance 0562 is $200 if you have the G10 scale and $240 with the carbon fiber scales. Definite advantage to the zero tolerance. So those are some of the comparisons that I've made between the zero tolerance 0562 and the Hinder XM18 three inch. So what do I think about the Zero Tolerance 0562. I absolutely like it a lot. And if you're a guy that wants to get a Hinder XM18 style knife and you like the three and a half inch blade size, I would really go for this knife. Are there opportunities for improvement? Certainly. First of all, the fit and finish on the Zero Tolerance knives is impeccable. There's no blade play. Uh, there's a very smooth action. The flipping is great. The centering of the knife is great. Everything, materials, fit and finish are just wonderful. One of the things I would criticize Kai USA for is that they use great materials, great fit and finish up to the three and a half inch blade length. But when they go down to the three and a quarter inch and certainly the two and three quarter inch blade length, they sacrifice on materials. They go to cheaper steels and they go to steel handles rather than the titanium handles, which makes their knives heavy, which is really not what we're looking for as knife guys. Whenever you went from the three and three quarter inch blade to the three and a half inch blade, you lost a half ounce of weight. But whenever you went from the three and a half to three and a quarter inch, you only lost 0.1 ounce. And you want more weight reduction from that whenever you decrease in size. But what do I like about the knife? I like the action. Really, this action is much better than the Hinder XM18. And the reason is it runs on KVT bearings instead of Teflon washers. And also, you have a better steel selection with the zero tolerance. There are four different types of steel you can use, and they're all super steels. But the most glaring, magnificent improvement of this knife over the XM18 is the value. It's only half the price of the Hinder, and in many ways, as I've mentioned, it's superior to the Hinder. So my recommendations and final assessment. If you're a guy that likes a three-inch blade, I would go ahead and get the Hinder 3 inch blade because it only weighs 3.5 ounces. The nearest thing that Kai USA makes is the Cryo with the uh, 4.1 ounce, uh, and it's got even a smaller blade. So, this is where you want to go if you want an EDC size 3 inch blade. The other way I would go for a Cryo is that if you're a value player, if you want the Hinder XM18 style for a budget, you can get a cryo for only $35. But if you're a guy that likes the three and a half inch size blade and a big handle, and you're wondering if you should lay down the money and buy the XM18 
for 200 or 465 dollars or just pay 200 dollars for the zero tolerance 0562 get the 0562 at the three and a half inch blade level the zt and the hinder are the same weight five and a half ounces but the zero tolerance has a much better action and a more diverse blade steel selection and most importantly it's half the cost well that's my opinion one man opinion Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me comments in the comments section about what you think about the Zero Tolerance Knife. And we'll see you on the next Lightest and Best House of Wisdom Knife video.